Hello listeners, I am Dr. Sudhir Mandal, working as Assistant Professor in the Department of Chemistry, SK Paul College, Kamti. In this video lecture, I will try to cover few areas of uh, solid state. And uh, before I begin my lecture, uh, all of you know that there are three different states of matter are possible. Uh, solid state, liquid state and gaseous state. Now, at the beginning we have to see, <coughs> what do you mean by solid? What is a solid state? So, these are the de definition of a solid. If a substance have uh, definite shape, definite volume, definite size, and if the particles are firmly arranged, a such kind of substance are called as solid substance. Now, uh, the solids are broadly classified in these two categories. One is called as amorphous solid, another one is crystalline solid. Now, what is the amorphous solid? A amorphous solid is something uh, in which the particles are not uh, arranged in random manner. But whereas in crystalline solids, the particles are arranged in specific geometrical arrangement. They have the specific geometrical arrangement. So, this is the broad classification of solid. Now, if we see the uh, again further classification of solid, uh, for crystalline solid, the solids are uh, mainly classified in these the following categories. The crystalline solid, uh, we have ionic uh, type of crystalline solid, then we have covalent crystals, we have molecular crystals, metallic crystals and atomic solids. So, these are the classification of crystalline solids. And a uh, few examples of crystalline solid, uh, say for example, crystalline solid is sodium chloride, that is ionic crystal. In case of amorphous solid, the example is glass, uh, rubber and etc. So, before we move on to further details, at first we have to see what, what is the definition of a crystal, what is a crystal. So, a crystal is something which has a properties like rigidity, incompressibility and typi typical geometrical form. So, something uh, that, so the uh, uh, crystals, in crystal they have particular geometrical shape, size and they, uh, they follow the uh, incompressibility in nature, they are also rigid in nature. So, now uh, before that, uh, so before going into the details of uh, crystal, at first, we have to see this figure that will give us the some detailed idea. So, if we see this, we will get the idea of uh, space lattice, lattice points as well as unit cell because in for the study of solid state, we have to very accurately, we have to know what is a space lattice, what is a unit cell. So, in this diagram, we can see that uh, space lattice is something which is the repetition of the unit cell over and over in the three dimensional arrangement and a unit cell is something which is the smallest repeating unit of a space lattice. So, in this diagram also we can see uh, that this, this, this is the unit cell as we have separated it here. So, this unit cell, if I repeat this unit cell in three dimension over and over, we will get this one. The whole thing is called as a space lattice. This whole thing is a space lattice and one, that small unit of that space lattice is called as a unit cell. So, and the black points which are at the corner, they are called as lattice points. So, now the smallest unit of a space lattice is our unit cell. Now, if we see this unit cell, we can see here three parameters A, B and C as well as alpha, beta, gamma, where A, B, C are the side length of the unit cell and alpha, beta, gamma are the angle between the different crystallographic planes. So, this thing you have to, uh, this is uh, very accurately you have to understand because for further proceeding we need the uh, need the understanding of this point. So, A, B, C and alpha, beta, gamma as a whole is called as crystal property or properties or lattice parameters as well as lattice parameters. So, now depending on this lattice parameter or the with the variation of this lattice parameters, we can have seven different types of crystal system. So, only if we vary the value of A, B and C that is the side length values as well as if we vary the value of alpha, beta, gamma, we can have seven different type of crystal system and which is co also called as Bravis lattice. So, the next point that we have to cover is Bravis lattice. So, this is discovered by or invented by scientists, uh, a French scientist, a French physicist by uh, name uh, Bravis. So, according to his name, this is called as Bravis lattice. Now, again, we have to see uh, the detail of Bravis lattice. Now, so, to understand the concept of Bravis lattice, we have to understand what is the lattice parameter. So, lattice parameters that A, B, C and alpha, beta, gamma are called as lattice parameters. So, now if we see this diagram, so only by changing the value of A, B, C and alpha, beta, gamma, we can have these seven different type of crystal system and these seven different type is called as seven crystal system or primitive unit cells. So, these are the seven different unit cells that are possible. And these structures we can get only by the variation of A, B, C and alpha, beta, gamma values. As we can see in the first diagram, uh, that is a simple cubic type unit cell, where the A and B and C, the values are equal, A equals to B equals to C, as well as the angle between the planes are 90 degrees. So, this one is the 
this specification is the specification for a simple cubic type unit cell so uh, now <coughs> So now thing uh, now one thing uh, comes into our mind that uh, that the uh, points that are on the corner is it always will be on the corner the points will be always in the corner the answer is no the points can be at the corner the points ca can change their position so depending on the relative position of the lattice point that corner uh, that uh, atoms ions or molecules which are at the corner so depending on the relative position of the atoms ions or molecules that is the lattice point we can further subclassify this seven type into 14 different types and that 14 different types are called as Bravis lattice. So we will see in the next diagram that is this one. Here we can see that in case of simple cubes the point lattice point can be at the corner, the lattice point can be at the center of the faces. Such type of unit cell will be called as face centered unit cell, face centered cubic lattice as well as the uh, lattice point can be at the corner as well as in the center of the uh, unit cell. So, this will be called as body centered cubic unit cell. So, this is the subclassification of cubic type of unit cell. So, the first difference is on the basis of your lattice parameter and the second classification is on the basis of the relative position of the lattice points. So, by changing this we will get this total 14 different types of unit cell and this 14 different type are called as Bravis lattice as we can see in this that the arrangement of the special arrangement of the lattice point produces 14 different types of regular pattern and all possible crystal lattice in three dimensional space can be generated from these 14 lattice. These 14 space lattice are known as Bravis lattice. So, this is very important for our BSc student uh, because most of the time in uh, exam, university exam they ask for write a short note on Bravis lattice. So, this is very important. So, keeping the UG syllabus in our mind we will only focus in the first type that is the subclassification of cubic type unit cell. So, we have three different types of unit cell for cubic type uh, unit cell. So, the uh, unit cells are simple cubic type, face centered cubic unit cell, body centered cubic unit cell. Now onwards we will focus only in the cubic type of uh, unit cell. So, these are the <coughs> examples of FCC, CCP as well as BCC. So, simple cube, FCC, face centered cubic cell and body centered cubic cell. So, now so students sometimes face difficult, uh, the difficulty to understand how the corners or the total number of atom in case of simple cube. So, only we will focus into the, the uh, subclassification of cubic type unit uh, system. So, now students sometimes face difficulty to understand how uh, the total uh, the, for the calculation of total number of atom in case of three these three different types of unit cell. What will be the uh, uh, total number of atoms that are present in case of simple cube? total number of atoms present in FCC, total number of atoms present in the BCC type of unit cell. So, by the further, so by the next slide, we will get a clear idea that how, uh, how the total number of atoms in case of simple cube is 1, total number of atoms in case of, in case of FCC it is 4 and total number of atoms in case of BCC it equals to 2. Uh, now, by the further slides, we will get that idea. See for the simple cube, at first we will see it for the simple cube. See, here we will get under uh, here we will understand by this uh, picture that by, by this diagram that the atoms which are at the corner they are said, uh, shared by 8 another unit cell. This th thing you have to understand very accurately, very correctly that atoms which are placed at the corner they will be shared by 8 other unit cells of the same type. See that. <laughs> So, the total number of atoms is equals to 8 into 1 by 8 equals to 1 atom. So, the number of atoms present in case of simple cube as because only 8 corners are present in case of cube, only 8 corners are there. So, total 8 into 1 by 8, their contribution in that particular unit cell equals to 1 by 8 that we have already seen that the corners are shared by 8 another unit cell which are adjacent to it. So, the total number of atom in case of simple cube is equals to 1. We will see the next thing, next uh, uh, unit cell that is BCC type. See, in case of BCC, the 8 atoms are at the corner 
which will be shared by 1 8 that we have already seen in the previous slide and the atoms which are at the center it do not have any sharing it is the sole it is solely belong to that particular unit cell <laughs> see the atoms which are at the corner they are shared by the but the atoms which are at the center it does not okay so in our next slide we will see what is the case for fcc type See, in case of FCC, the atoms which are corner, which are at the corner, they will be shared. But the atoms which are at the uh, faces of the uh, center of the faces, they will be shared by their adjacent unit cell. So their contribution to that this particular unit cell will be half. See. See, the atoms which are at the corner, they have one eight sharing to that uh, particular unit cell and the atoms which are at the center of the face they have half sharing to that particular unit. So the total number of atoms equals to 4. So in this way we can calculate the total number of atoms present in the FCC, total number of atoms present in the BCC and total number of atoms present in the simple cube. Now these are some examples of FCC type of unit cell as well as BCC type of unit cell. Sodium chloride has an example is an example of uh, FCC type of unit cell having FCC type of unit cell. Cesium chloride is an example of a salt in which the unit cell is of BCC pattern. So these two are very important because in exam in uh, RTM Nagpur University exam we, we, this uh, question comes very often given example of this given example of a FCC type of unit cell and BCC type of unit cell. So the next point that I will uh, try to cover in my presentation is crystallographic planes, Miller indices and Weiss indices. So at first we have to see what is the definition of a crystallographic uh, plane. So a crystallographic plane is something which uh, cuts the something uh, set of parallel uh, planes which passes through the uh, uh, crystallographic uh, or unit cell which passes through the unit cell. So now uh, we have to see what is Weiss indices and what is Miller indices. So the definition of Weiss indices is is the intercept made by the uh, crystallographic uh, planes for the crystallog in the crystallographic axis are called as are called as uh, Weiss indices. So as we can see in this figure, that uh, this plane uh, cuts only x axis. This actually that x, y, and z. These three are called the uh, crystallographic axis. So now, as we can see, the uh, shaded plane only cuts the x axis and it is parallel to y axis as well as z axis. So the the, the Weiss indices of this plane will be 1 infinity infinity now and the Miller indices will be 1 0 0 and uh, whereas in this the, uh, if we see that the, the, this uh, plane this plane only cuts x axis and y axis and it is parallel to z axis so the y's indices of this plane will be 1 1 infinity whereas the Miller indices will be 1 1 0 that also we will see how to convert y's indices into Miller indices so now at, uh, for presently we have to know what is the definition of a Weiss indices. So Weiss indices is defined as the uh, values in which the uh, a particular plane cuts the crystallographic axis. Okay, as well as for this one, we can see this plane, the shaded plane, cuts x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. So the Weiss indices of this one will be uh, 1, 1, 1, as well as the Miller indices will be 1, 1, 1. So now in this slide, we will see how the Weiss indices is converted into Miller indices. Say for example for this plane, as we have already told you that this plane only cuts x axis and y axis and it is parallel to z axis. So for this one, the y's indices value will be 1, 1 and infinity. So now to calculate Miller indices, at first we have to take the reciprocal of this. So by taking the reciprocal, we will get this one and then we have to multiply it to get the positive integer value as uh, at, uh, by, by we have to take, take the LCM of the denominator and we have to multiply it with these values to get a positive integer value. So now the Weiss Miller indices comes as 1, 1, 0. So in this way we can convert Weiss indices into Miller indices. 
now see these examples here also the wise indices values are given that uh, 3a 2b and 2c adversary will take the reciprocal and you have to multiply the whole uh, with the, that the, the values are with the uh, <coughs> lcm of the denominator and by doing so we will get the miller indices values and the miller indices values are like this so the miller indices of this one is 2 3 3 the references from where i have uh, made this uh, powerpoint presentation so thank you very much for your patience listening and hope this will help you in your study